So you are finally setting sail. It, it, the, the company was due to really officially launch in a meaningful way last year. And then, of course, we saw the pandemic set in. Uh, what, what is the plan now in terms of the ability to start bringing people onto these ships, the protocols around that, and the expectation that people will actually book and, and, and do this? Yeah, thanks, Morgan. Well, we've taken the last 18 months and taken a hard look at how can we create a safe environment to build back the, the trust of, of, of the consumer. We think that's something that's very important. Obviously, the safety and security of, of all of our crew and, our, and uh, all of our sailors, we call our passenger sailors, is really important to us. So we've developed some protocols. We think we've created the safest possible way to travel. So we've taken something that was a challenge, and because of the controlled environment that we operate in, we've created this safe way to travel. You know, it starts with vaccines. So we're going to be requiring all of our sailors and all of our crews to be fully vaccinated. And then on top of that, uh, we're testing our sailors as they come on board as, a, as an uh, added measure. And then when we get on board, we've invested in new technology, te technologies like Atmosphere, which is a air purification system. This is not just a, a filtration system, it uses bi bipolar ionization to kill 99.9% .9 of all bacteria in the air. So it's the system similar to what hospitals are using today. Um, and the combination of these things is we really have created a, a safe way to travel, safer than going out and, and going to a restaurant, safer than going to a theater or to a nightclub or, or to a theme park, if you will. So the combination of this gives us that, that confidence that we can sail in a very comfortable and a safe way. Yeah, I mean, certainly we've seen just this week alone a steady march of companies coming out and saying that they're going to require vaccines. Uh, but where cruising is concerned, it's been a little bit more controversial in part because Companies such as yours that are calling Florida uh, home base, Florida does have that ban on vaccine passports. So how are you navigating that? Yeah, so we're, we're working uh, closely. We're trying to f find a solution. If not, uh, you know, we will be able to uh, talk to all of our sailors uh, and have them voluntarily p provide information uh, that they're vaccinated. So we'll find a way around that. We believe in uh, vac vaccinations are the way to go. We think it creates a safe environment for our sailors. So we're continuing to, to push on that issue. Tom, talk about the trigger point for if something were to go wrong, if, if I, I know, God knows how, but if you wound up with a, a large number of symptomatic cases on a vessel, um, what is the trigger point for returning to port? Has that changed since uh, pre-COVID when obviously the industry dealt with other infectious diseases as well? Well, listen, the likelihood of something like that happen is pretty remote, especially because we're requiring everybody uh, to be vaccinated. But nonetheless, we have looked at protocols. You know, we've enhanced uh, our our. Uh, crewing in our hospitals and our medical center. Um, we don't think that will happen, but we have protocols in place and safety measures where we can isolate uh, folks in the unlikely event that we did have uh, an infection on board. We've worked out uh, procedures with the ports of call, so you'll no, you will no longer see uh, ships being blocked from coming into port. That's a thing of the past. So what are you seeing in terms of consumer interest and in bookings? Well, huge pent-up demand. I mean, as we as we survey folks, the number one thing that people are missing uh, with this pandemic is getting out and traveling. So we believe there's there's a lot of demand out there. People love to cruise. It's one of their favorite things to do. Has very high guest satisfaction ratings. Uh, great value for money. So you know, we're launching a new ship. We're launching a new brand. And frankly, we think it's coming at a good time as we start to see a boom in travel again. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.